Hi, I welcome you all to the unboxing of Raspberry Pi Pico. So now Raspberry Pi has introduced a new microcontroller. So we are going to see that. So let's get into unboxing of this. I have ordered this through Silverline Electronics. So I ordered it on 11th July. And the actual cost of this unit is 380 rupees. So through uh, to Bangalore, in and around Bangalore, they charge 100 rupees courier charges. Total it comes around 480 rupees. Here comes the Raspberry Pi Pico. So it looks very small. It is smaller than Arduino, but it is it very much powerful. So Raspberry Pi has developed a new microcontroller, RP a microcontroller. So and this is used here. And you have USB connectivity, and this is actually micro USB, and there is a boot select uh, switches are given here. And Raspberry Pi Pico it is available in uh, three variants. One is a Pico without any uh, soldering intent, and there is another one which is called a Pico H, where we have a header uh, soldering headers are added to it, and also there is a Raspberry Pi Pico W. Which is wireless. Actually, this is developed and uh, used in UK, but still it is not uh, available in India. Particularly, the wireless model is not yet available in India. So, this is the Pico H, where we can see the soldering heads are there. So, we can use the header to connect it to the breadboards. Yeah, and this uh, microcontroller it's going to be programmed by using uh, micro python which is a little a lighter version of uh, uh, python so if you know the basics of python we can easily code this microcontroller with all the required features and also it can be programmed by using c++ and uh, you know, python has many built-in libraries so by using uh, those built-in libraries we can develop, definitely we can develop very good projects using this micro Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. So this gives a very closer look of the microcontroller. They can see the Raspberry Pi uh, symbol is there and also it is actually it is manufactured in 2021. So I told you it was developed by Raspberry Pi UK organization. So there are uh, two couple of uh, textbooks are available for uh, programming this microcontroller and doing some useful projects I can give you the details in the description you can watch it definitely that will be very good help to know what are the components and what are the different parts of the microcontroller and how to make use of it efficiently by using the micro python as well okay so the Pico H model can be connected to the or can be fixed to the breadboard as given here you can see that because it's having a soldering heads so what we can do we can easily fix it onto the uh, breadboard and by using uh, the male female wires we can make interconnections so here we have used one wire to connect to the GPIO pins or general purpose input output pins are there so by using this we can easily connect it to any sensor input or output devices anything can be easily connected so here you can see you know both the circuits Arduino board and also the Raspberry Pi Pico board is there and comparatively uh, Raspberry Pi is very tiny and but it has its own microcontroller and also has 10-bit um, uh, A2D there are um, interrupts are there sensors are also we can easily connect and there are a couple of uh, built-in LEDs to let to know whether the power is on or off so like this we can mean there are many features are there we can make use of it and you can and do it so Arduino it houses Atmega microcontroller whereas this Raspberry Pi Pico it is having an RP Raspberry Pi microcontroller itself